Okay, we realize that any piece of geometry that we program in the control can be done as a pocket boundary. Now we want to talk about pocket islands. Pocket islands are just pieces of geometry that are left standing in the middle of a pocket boundary. They can be simple geometry shapes such as circles and frames, or they could be arbitrary shapes using lines and arc. In the example we see here, we see a mill contour block as a pocket boundary in block one. Block two is a mill circle as a pocket island. The only rules that are necessary to remember when doing pocket islands is that they must immediately follow a pocket boundary. I can have as many islands as I need, but they all must immediately follow a pocket boundary. For example, in this case, I could use uh, block one could be a mill contour pocket boundary, and then block two, block three, block four, and so on could all be pocket islands. I could not have anything in between two pocket islands or the, the second island would not be able to be cut. It would actually throw an alarm. It would be an unassociated pocket island. The next thing to point out about pocket islands is when you are, are going to use a piece of geometry as a pocket island, you should go down and immediately t change the milling type to pocket island. Notice that everything else has gone away. There's no tool information. There's no speeds and feeds, um, no cutter comp, none of that is necessary because this is an island left standing in the middle of a pocket. In the pocket block we tell it how fast, how deep, and what tool. The only data necessary for a pocket island is X and Y data. So in this example, give this print intro 20 a try. Um, I'll give you a couple of pointers. The best place to start on this particular print is at the nine o'clock position on the very large circle and we're going to want to cut in the counterclockwise direction because this is a pocket and we want to uh, climb mill around the outside. Once you've successfully got the shape programmed then insert a second block as a mill circle and make that mill circle a pocket island. As all of the prints that we've talked about in this series intro 20 will be a separate video that you could watch that should take you through programming this part as a lines and arcs contour as well as inserting the pocket island.